Morning. Morning. Senator, um, many Americans are concerned about the revelations this week and how they square with the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. Let's start there. What does the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution say? Well, it's protection against search and seizure. Uh, the and, program and the measure here is probable has nothing. Cause. The, pro the, the program the here is, is legal. It has been uh, passed by the Department of Justice as a legal program. Uh, it is carefully audited. Um, you, you have inspectors generals independently looking at it. It is reviewed by the court every three months, and the court, when they pass out one document, which was the document that was revealed, which said it could continue for another three months. The court also uh, indicate, uh, passes another uh, statement, which puts strictures on the program for the remaining three months. The, the, but but can I if I interject the, the, there, the, the important part of that as well, is, and all of this is right, is that it is not a targeted on Americans. It has to be a non-U.S. person uh, believed to be on foreign soil. That's a huge difference from what is being portrayed in the media. That, that is not the case with the program pertaining to phone data. The Fourth Fo Amendment st stipulates that yeah, people's papers I, I, shall, shall not be violated, but upon I probable I, I'm not sure who you I don't, upon, I'm not sure we're getting into not, debate I'm here. Quoting the Fourth Amendment. Here, I understand, but case law also. Supported by oath or affirmation, well, particularly designated well, I think what's there's to be no searched. Sense. How is, yeah, how if you, is if you want to debate, we, we can do that later. I'm not a debate. I want to do it another time. Square this with the Fourth Amendment. I'm just quoting the Fourth Amendment, and I want you to square this program with the Fourth Amendment. 